Hello. Is this thing on? Okay. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I tried to do these yesterday and it was a mess. It, it was not working. So um, I figured I'd try it again today and see how it goes. But I just wanted to do a quick check-in for March because there's a lot of stuff happening out in the cosmos in March. Even if you don't, you know, like follow your own astrology that closely, it's still happening, right? And this video is not to necessarily go over that in great detail, but rather to check in on the vibe with the tarot. So I just wanted them to be quick and to the point. So um, just as a quick rundown, March 7th, Saturn moves into Pi Pisces. And um, March 20th, the sun goes into Aries. So technically, that's an astrological new year. Um, March 23rd, Pluto goes into Aquarius. And March 25th, Mars goes into Cancer. So those are the big things happening. I'm going to pull um, the order out of the bowl like I did for the extended readings that I just posted not too long ago. And let's get into it. Sweet. Let's see who's next. Virgo. I hope these are like showing, you know, because to me on the thing, it looks like backwards. I don't know. I was going to use a different camera. And I like moved everything around to make this camera like fit and work. And that camera was like, absolutely not. So I was like, F it. I'm just going to use my phone. So here we are. Um, like I said, I want to keep these kind of short and sweet, so we're just looking for one card or two. We have two here. Look at you showing up at the bottom of the deck, too, with the Hermit. Are you kidding me? We have the Page of Wands and the Two of Swords. Okay, Hermit and Death. Okay. Definitely some indecision going on here. Page of Wands is adventurous, they're active, ambitious. Wands have to do with action, like that the steps that we're taking, you know, like the literal actions that we're taking towards something. Um, it's the way that we're communicating our goals. And the Page of Wands, like I said, it's it's ambitious. They're they're kind of like the type that will try anything once at least <laughs> and then the two of swords is about indecision you know there's the blindfold there just the body language feeling a bit guarded this has that energy of feeling like you don't you either don't like the options that are presented to you or it's like you can't you can't see the outcome and that makes you feel uncomfortable and like i said we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck so this tells me that you haven't been moving for some time and that stagnant energy could be creating just this you know kind of vibration of like anxiety in you the star is in the lantern which is about hope and faith and trusting the process another thing with this guy is um it's you know kind of forging your own path you know like not necessarily going with tradition but looking within yourself and you know kind of discovering what it is that um feels like purposeful for you we have the death card behind there so there's definitely like there needs to be a decision made on this whether it's you know committing to something new or committing to trying something new it could be committing to ending something like if you have more than one thing going on it could be committing to ending this. And this is just, the death card talks about something needing to end in order for something new to begin. It's, you know, there's that saying that beginnings disguise themselves as endings. We have the seven of swords behind there. This is a card of fooling yourself to me. So there's definitely like some self-sabotage stuff going on. 
because we have the magician <laughs> right behind there and strength. So there's definitely an opportunity here in some capacity. And maybe you recognize that it is an opportunity and maybe you recognize that it is something that you have wanted and you have even been taking steps towards. But now that it's here, <laughs> It could be, you know, like a fear of success. It could be that glass ceiling thing. Whatever it is, though, there's definitely a decision, like deciding on something. I'm going to leave it there. Bye.